New at 10, tonight we are hearing from the CHP on its efforts to combat the fentanyl crisis in San Francisco. The governor's office released new numbers today, crediting the CHP with taking more than 9.5 million lethal doses of fentanyl off the streets since May of last year. KTVU's Joey Horta live in San Francisco with the results of the ongoing operation. Joey. Well, Julie, we spoke to this man who is now a recovery advocate, and he was a former fentanyl user. He says, well, he applauds what CHP is doing now. Law enforcement to him is only part of the solution. One little dose, as little as two milligrams, could kill you. Fentanyl is a drug Tom Wolf knows all too well. In 2018, he was living in the streets of San Francisco and hooked on both heroin and fentanyl, leading to his arrest. It's a struggle because you'll basically do anything to feed that addiction. New numbers from Governor Gavin Newsom's office on Tuesday show the results of CHP's special operation with the city of San Francisco, targeting the tenderloin and surrounding areas known as a hotspot for open air drug use. This is an operation that has a lot of moving parts. Since May of 2023, CHP has taken more than 40 pounds of fentanyl off the streets. That's more than nine and a half million doses of the drug and made nearly 500 arrests. Driving down the street and we witness uh, you know, a hand-to-hand -hand drug deal. Yes, absolutely, we're going to intervene. CHP's focus is on making traffic stops to help free up San Francisco police resources. The goal, targeting fentanyl trafficking and disrupting the supply chain of a drug that the CDC says is 100 times stronger than morphine. Wolf applauds CHP's operation, but stresses that drug treatment is key. And uh, in June, I'll have six years clean and sober. And that's because I was held accountable. I had to go to jail for a few months to get sober. And then I went to a six month residential treatment program. Wolf now works as a consultant for the Salvation Army's transitional housing program, helping people battling addiction to turn their lives around just like he did. Just need to stop this revolving door that we have uh, with organized drug dealers continuing to be arrested and then getting released to pretrial diversion and they head right back out onto the street to, uh, to sell drugs. CHP says their presence in San Francisco is ongoing. And CHP telling us tonight they are here doing this to support San Francisco police in their efforts to fight crime. Police telling us tonight they are thankful for that. Julie? And Joey, did the CHP say how many officers are out patrolling the Tenderloin? Well, we did ask that question, Julie, and they were hesitant to reveal too much of their tactics. They do say, though, again, that they are not leaving here anytime soon. All right, Joey Horta in San Francisco tonight. Joey, thank you.